Okay, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine, thanks, teacher. And you? Good Fine, good thank you. Fine, and nice to see you again. One, uh, this is the second class. We are going to begin with the second class. Uh, we are going to try to participate again with different activities for you to uh, talk and speak and practice your English, okay? So uh, we are going to, yes, it's already nine o'clock. So we, we are going to begin with the homework that we had right before. Did you do your homework? Yes. Yes. Okay. What was the homework about? To make five sentences in pass about Casey Mujer. <laughs> exactly. It, about what we did yesterday, right? About what we did yesterday. Que okay, eso. Sí. Exactly. Vamos a hacer eh, oraciones o explicar lo que hicimos ayer o el fin de semana. Very good. Uh, we are going to start practicing that and uh, try to, we are going to have like 10 participant for, participants first, uh, but try to participate. And then we are going to have another activity and we are going to, to uh, start with uh, something I like just to check if you have um, understood the formulas because we are going to finish with the formulas today with the past tense with the verb to be, okay? So that's what we are going to do right now. Now, let me see. We have Maria, Tisset, Hilma, Noé, Juan Carlos, Iris, or Iris, Tatiana, Edgardo, Mauricio, Juan Carlos. Okay, so we are going to begin right now with the class. Okay, so who wants to begin with the homework? Who, who can tell me what you did during the weekend or yesterday or today? Like some kind of activities. Who wants to begin? Someone who did the homework. Only one. Okay, let's see. Maria Cecilia Ponce. Okay, Maria. Did you do your the, the homework, Maria? Yes. Okay, Maria. Okay, very good. So let me know what do you do today or uh, during the weekend? And the weekend I I um, say my my homework the the, the yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, and I I got up at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, I got dressed at uh, eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then I ate breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, touched my touched my teeth. Mm -hmm. And I went to I went to my job at um, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, I have lunch uh, at uh, one one uh, o'clock. Mm -hmm. I finish finishes finishes my job at uh, six. Six, six o'clock. Mm -hmm. I come back to home at seven p.m. and then I watch TV at eight p.m. I study English at night p.m. Mm -hmm. Then I brush, I brush mm -hmm. my teeth and I went to bed at. 11 p.m. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you very much, Maria. And you said that you watched TV yesterday. What did you watch on your yesterday, TV? Yesterday, I, I very like to watch serious, serious uh, movies. Mm -hmm. I like um, um, 
NCS, N NCIS, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and um, uh, this series is, is I, I like very much. Okay, NCIS, right? NCIS. Yes. That NCIS. is that is like a police or investigation, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try to listen in English. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's a very good, very good advice. Like you watch and listen in English the series, right? Listen to them in English. And now that we have platforms, we can use subtitles, right? Okay. Very good. We are going to give, provide some feedback. Thank you for your participation, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Maria. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So you did your homework, right? You did your homework, right? Yes, I did my homework. Okay, and at what time did you get up? I got up. Uh, I got up at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, and a what? How do you say um, cepillar los dientes? How do you say that in English? I got the uh, uh, brush. My teeth brushed, right? Brushed, brushed, brushed my teeth. My teeth. And finish. Yes. Como, como se dice finish in, in the past? Finish it. Finish it. Finished. Finish. Finished. With a finish. with a T at the end, right? Finished. Okay. Finished. It's like brush. Brushed. Brush. Finished. Finished. The same, exactly. Not mm -hmm. brush it, not brush it, no. Finish it, no. But uh -huh. brushed, finish, okay. Brushed, and watch, finish. watch, right? Watched, watch, watched. watch it, no. Watch uh -huh. it, no. Watch. Okay. Okay. Watched. Okay. Watched. Exactly. Watched. Mm -hmm. Very good. We yeah. are going to practice the pronunciation later, okay? Yeah. Thank you for your participation, Maria. Very good. And now we, I want another volunteer. We have it. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, Iris, go ahead. Okay, yesterday I talked about, about, I went to work, I went to make payments, then I went to the church, and finally I received my English class. So you received your English class? I received, uh huh. Received, very good. And at what time did you did you go to the church? I go to the, I went to the church at seven p.m. Okay, very good. And did you do something else after the church, or did you at seven p.m. right? Because after yeah. that you went home, or I went to my home and then I ate my my din no, dinner no dinner yes dinner my dinner very good you ate dinner very good and when we say went home right we don't say went to my home okay just go home go home go to your home no go go to home no go home i went to home no go home oh. or i went home okay teacher very good, Iris. Very good. Thank you very much. Your English very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I Carla, Carla de Alegría. Okay, Carla wants to participate. Go ahead, Carla. Okay, teacher. Thank you. I want to tell you a little bit about my weekend. Mm -hmm. My husband and I went to visit my family in Sonsonate City during the weekend and uh, weekend at noon. On Saturday, and we were there with them all the weekend. It was pretty hot, but on Saturday night, it was raining a lot, and we ate pupusas and drank chocolate for the dinner. My mom made pupusas, and so we had, we had a good moment together. That's it. 
Okay, and where 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 do you go? Sonsonate. Sonsonate. Okay, it was my hometown. Uh, your hometown. Okay, is mm -hmm. it beautiful, Sonsonate? Because I don't know Sonsonate. Is it beautiful? Yes, it's beautiful. If I go to Sonsonate, where should I go? What place should I visit? You should visit the Los Cobanos Beach. Los it's Cobanos. A, mm -hmm. It's a good beach um, in the ferrocarril, mm -hmm. uh, in the center of, of the city. Um, okay, uh -huh. very good. Only that. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. How do you say ferrocarril? I don't know. Rail, railway, railway, oh. okay. Very good, very good, railway. Thank we you. are going to uh, provide you this vocabulary later or probably in the next class so we will be able to um, uh, share it and practice it. And uh, something that I will, I want to point out with Carla uh, or the way that Carla uh, talked right now or spoke, uh, she used her English. She has accent. Everybody has an accent, right? Probably her accent is more marked, but she expressed herself very well, very well, very clear with uh, very organized ideas and also with a very, um, uh, I was able to understand her, her English. It was uh, very good. So you don't have to speak like Americans or British or Australian because everybody has a different accent. But something that I want to point out is that even though that we have an accent, we are able to speak very good. Like we are, we are able to express our ideas clearly. We don't have to, we, we can imitate some things. That's okay, that's good. But uh, remember that we it's okay to have accents, right? Like to, um, have this kind of pronunciation it's good you have a good pronunciation even though you have an accent now hilma hilma wants to participate good evening hilma good evening teacher um yesterday the english class was very interesting last weekend i went to the beach to swim a little Yesterday, I went to the supermarket to buy fruit and vegetables in the morning. I didn't sleep on Monday because I stayed, I stayed up watching a movie until midnight. This morning, I studied on the corporate English platform. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, you mentioned that you stayed up watching a movie. What was the name of the movie? And the movie name is... Um, the... You can say it in Spanish, no problem. Okay, it's... The, the Marvel, Raul, ¿cómo se llama? El Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange in Multiverse, Madness, yes. multi oh, okay. Yes. Did you like it? Yes, I like it. Do you like Marvel movies? Yes. Did you watch a Thor already or not yet? No, no entendí esa última parte. Uh, did you watch the movie of Thor, Love and Thunder, the new movie of Marvel? Um, Have you watched it? Yes. Yes? <laughs> no. <laughs> did you go to the movie theater? I don't, I, I don't, don't understand the chat. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, the movies, Marvel movies, right? We are going to organize ideas right now. Marvel movies. The new movie is Thor, right? Thor. Thor. The new movie. No, no. No, no. So you haven't no. watched. Do you want to watch it? Will you go to the movie theater? Yes. Theater. Theater. Movie theater. 
we, when where you watch movies? Um, um, no, no. It is platform the Walt Disney. Ah, Disney Plus. So you like mm -hmm. better watch movies at, at Disney Plus. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, Hilma, thank you very much for your participation. Remember that there are some words that are kind of difficult. For example, vegetales. How do you say vegetales in English? Vegetables. 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 Exactly. Vegetables. So that is a very complicated word. Vegetables, no vegetables, no vegetables, right? Okay, we have Juan Carlos Peña. Okay. Tell me about your last uh, weekend or what you did yesterday, please. Okay, teacher. Yesterday I waked up at six o'clock. Later I took a shower when my sister called me for gave me an information about the health of my dad. I didn't eat breakfast because my dad was very sick. Your dad was sick? Was very sick. Okay, your dad was very sick. Um, and what did he have? I don't know how, how I can say in, in English, but in Spanish is insufficiencia renal. Insufficiencia renal, so kidney problems. Excuse me? Kidney problems. Kidney, riñón, kidney. Kidney problem. Kidney problems, yeah, exactly. Okay. Problemas con los riñones. Okay. Okay, very good. And um, at what time did you wake up? You mentioned the time. I wake up at, at six o'clock. At six o'clock. Okay, what is the pass of wake? Is walk, right? Okay. Walk up. Uh, I forget that. Yeah, sometimes we forget. For that reason, we have to uh, study the list of verbs, right? That regular verbs, irregular verbs. Can but you thank you. Me, please. Walk, walk up. I walk up. W O K E. And then up, right? U P. Walk up. I walk up at seven. I woke up at nine. But the rest was really good. Very good. Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Now, another participant. We have Carla Merino. Go ahead, Carla. Okay. I'm going to talk about my last Sunday. My last Sunday, I went to the bakery to buy a cake for my grandma because I visited my grandma and because she lives alone. And then I prepared the coffee and I was, we, we were talking with my grandma. And then I helped to her to clean her backyard because she has problem with her leg. And then I took some pictures because in her garden, she has some, flower, some flowers and I love some flowers. And it's only that. Okay, so you spent your last Sunday with your grandma, right? What is the name of your grandma? Yes. Sophia. Her Sophia. name is Sophia. Okay, Sophia, that's my sister's name. My sister. Oh, really? Yeah, that's her name, Sophia. That's beautiful also. Yes, name. it's a very good name. And how yes. old is your grandma? She is uh, 75 years old. 75 years old. And you yes. said that you love flowers, right? Flowers. Some flowers, yes. Some flowers. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you for your participation, Carla. Very good. Okay. Okay. Remember that we say uh, pronunciation with regular verbs. Regular verbs, when we write it, it's it's kind of easy. But when we pronounce verbs, it's kind of difficult because the ED, they have three different pronunciations, right? So we are going to okay. practice that later. And we want to, when we want to help someone, we said, I help her, right? I want to help you i help her so i help to her no it, that is spanish eso es español uh, ayudarle okay. a ella it's okay in spanish but help her right in english now we have okay. rosa thank you. thank you carla thank you now we have rosa maria merino go ahead rosa what did you do last weekend or these last days okay yesterday i worked in the office i Solve uh, several critical situations in my work. Today, 
I got up at seven o'clock. I prepared breakfast and dinner in my home. Um, I worked in the uh, office, uh, office at home and additionally, I attend to some home, housework. Okay. Okay. Only that. Only that, very good. Uh, what is what is your job, Rosa Maria? What do you do? I I working in a bank. I um, I am responsible in development the product in the bank for oh. a, a companies. Okay, and what is your title in the bank? Excuse me? What is your title? Uh, um, I, don't, I, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. What, when I say what is your title in your in the bank, it's like uh, what is uh, the, the job that you do? Is, are you a supervisor or are you at, um, an assistant? Or are you a manager? A uh, supervisor. You are a supervisor. Yes. Okay, because I heard that you solved critical situations in your job, right? Uh, exactly. Okay, very good. Okay. So thank you very much for your participation, Rosa Maria. Um, also, we are going again with regular verb pronunciation, right? The path of work is worked with a T at the end, right? I worked. worked very good. Worked. I worked. I, okay. I I solved it. No, I solved. I solved critical I, situation. I solved. I solved. I solved. Yes, I solved. I solved. Very okay. good. So the rest was really, really good. And re thank you very much. You express yourself very well. Thank okay. you, Rosa Maria. Okay. Thank you. Okay, next one we have two more. We're going to have Lisette and then Maria, okay? Lisette Flores, go ahead, please. Good, good evening, everybody. Um, yesterday, I have computer class. Um, in the afternoon, I order the some the documents. <coughs> the, I feed my dog. And I did my homework in the evening. I prepared the dinner. <clears throat> okay. And what do you prepare for dinner? Yes. What do you prepare? Um, I prepare the casamiento. <laughs> casamiento. Yes, it's good casamiento. Yes. Uh -huh. And what else? <clears throat> Only casamiento. Ah, uh, casamiento and. Um, uh, cheese or uh, cream? Cheese, cream, very good. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And did you eat tortillas or bread? Uh, no, tortillas. Tortillas, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, tortillas is healthier, right? So, very good. <laughs> I prefer, very good. Thank you very much for your participation, Lisette. Let's remember okay. the pass of prepare is prepared with a D at the end, right? Prepared. Very good. We have also Maria Siguenza. What did you do yesterday, Maria Siguenza? Well, I talk about uh, my routine to yesterday. I got up usually at nine o'clock because I work for a night. Uh, then I take I took a shower uh, and eat my breakfast. After I went to the supermarket for two hours and bought many fruit and vegetables. Uh, then I went to the work. Only that. Okay, very good. And where do you work, Maria? I work in a casino. In a casino? Yes. Okay, very good. And that's why you spend like uh, 
uh, buying super like vegetables in the supermarket right in the morning, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Maria Siwenza. Uh, we are going to uh, continue practicing. Let's remember vegetable is the correct pronunciation, right? Vegetables. And also, I arrived. I arrived. Yo llegué, verdad? Yo llegué. I arrived. Yo llegué a un lugar. I arrived. Very good. Now we have the two. The, I will. I will have two people more. Two more people. Sorry, two more people, and then we are going to continue with another activity. We are going to have Maria. You are Maria Siwenza. So you are at work, Maria, right now. <laughs> you are at work because you are dressed like you're. Okay. And right now, after your class, you have to work. Yes. Okay. Okay, good, very good. Okay, congratulations. Now we are going to have Mercy and after that, Edgar. Okay, Mercy, tell me about the homework. What do you do? Um, yesterday, I celebrate my birthdays with my friends mm -hmm. and we went to have breakfast uh, at the Pizza Hut and they brought a cake for me and brought gift broke gift and I had a lunch with my family and and spent the rest of of today uh with them. It's it uh, was a nice day, I think. Okay, very Only? good. Okay, very good. So you had your birthday yesterday. Yes. Okay, happy birthday. And thank you. Also, okay, and did they did they bring gift and a cake? Uh, drink in a cake. Gifts? Ah, yes, I uh, recite. Received? Yes, this received uh, the gift uh, that my family and my friends, I love the, uh, I don't know in English, muñecas, the, the, the baby muñecas to the collection. The baby and the dolls. Yes, the okay. doors, uh, the the little doors, and and I, my my friend, give me gave gave me mm -hmm. uh, a a little dog uh, to the Panama, mm -hmm. and it's a, a good gift for me. Okay, very good. Okay, happy birthday. Also, uh, another person. Uh, Susana is saying happy birthday. Okay, so happy birthday, Mercy. Yes. Very good. Very Thank good. you, Susana. <laughs> Very good. We will have Edgardo, and the last one will be Jaime. Okay, Edgardo, tell me about your weekend or what did you do? Okay, good night. Thank you, teacher. Uh, yes, uh, the last weekend I had the opportunity to, to be in a party uh, which played uh, cumbia music mm -hmm. and uh, I had the opportunity to dance with my uh, with my wife and, and some another uh, friends um, that's what happened in the in the uh, in the last uh, weekend so yesterday uh, after the class I have uh, studying the I have been studying irregulars and regular birds because I have forgotten several of, of them. Uh, I studied English 10 years ago and I have forgotten many things. That's why I hear studying again, thank God. And I have a lot of expectation because uh, sometimes I feel very frustrated, you know, uh, but I try to do the best right now, just that. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, don't feel frustrated because you're, actually I, I can see that even though that you have learned English like 10 years ago, you learn, them, you learn it very well. Sometimes you don't forget things. You just need to remember things and then put it into practice, but you speak very well. So you don't have to feel frustrated. You just, you just need to practice, right? So yes. very good. Thank you for your participation. Thank okay, you. Edgardo, and we are going to have the last one, Jaime, okay, for the homework. Go ahead, Jaime. Tell me what did you do? 
last uh, these last days. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I on um, on Sunday or oh, in the morning. I first I wake up because uh, around eight o'clock with my mom. We uh, I I I went to I went to the church in the morning, and then with my mom, we went to eat um, the dinner. After that, after that, we went to the house because around three o'clock p.m. was the finally the cup, the football soccer cup. You tw you twenty. Um, you, uh, USA versus Dominic Republic uh, was necessary for me was uh, the finally and the celebrate along uh, the football soccer. <laughs> I like it, the football teacher uh, on, so on Sunday. <laughs> okay. it's, my, it's my high story. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so, um, and did you like the the match? Did you like the, the soccer match? Uh, um, football soccer, yes. Yes, and the match yes. was good or, or not against uh, USA and Dominican Republic. You, yes, it, finally, uh, you so last twenty. Last Wednesday, who yes. won? Who won in the match? Uh, USA. USA, right? And USA. that was good Dominic for you Republic. or or bad? Dominic Republic. The, sorry, Do, Dominic Republic. Uh, oh. uh, Le ganó El Salvador. Yes. Le ganó El Salvador. No porque hubiéramos llegado a la final nosotros. Yes, exactly. It is to so. Very good. Okay, thank you very much for your participation, Jaime. So is a República Dominicana. How do we say in English República Dominicana? Oh, no, Domin Dominic Republic. No, Dominican, Dominican Republic. <laughs> Dominican. Very good. Very good. Thank okay. you. Very much. Thank you. <laughs> so let's let's remember Dominican Republic. And what is the pass of wake up? What is the pass of wake up? The past wake. tense of wake up is woke up, right? I woke up. Woke I up. woke up at seven. I woke up at nine. So let's remember I, I woke up. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No problem. Uh, we are going to now we we uh, we are going to begin with the class, but it's not like very um um like formal like a class. We are going to have here just some formulas. I will share with you right now. Just let me see here. Yeah, so this was the activity that we were doing, right? The five things that we did yesterday or during the week. And now this is the objective for today's class. Um, and now today in this class, I just want to verify if you are able to, to use the formulas that we did uh, before, right? For example, uh, with the verbs did, with questions, right? WH questions, yes, no questions. And also with didn't, right? Remember that didn't is for negative statements. So that's what I would like to practice right now. This is the objective for today. By the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements in the past tense using the verb to be. Additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. These English conversation skills will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. So these are the examples that we had before. The past tense, where were you born? I was born in Argentina. And also now uh, we are going to study the verb to be. This is the verb to be, right? I am, I was, you are, and the past is you were. He, she, it is. He, she, it was. We are, we were. They are, they were. So that is the, the, the past tense, right, of the verb to be. So we have to remember that for some pronouns, I, 
he, she, it is, was. And for others are you, we are, this, that's where, right? So we can use this formula. Again, with the formula, we, we, it's easier for us to uh, create sentences. For example, with the verb to be, we have there the examples. Wasn't is the negative, right? Was is positive, wasn't is negative. And again, where is um, positive and weren't is negative. So we have the formula there, subject plus verb to be plus complement. That is for an affirmative sentence, a statement. I, for example, that is a subject, verb to be was, and then the complement, born in Argentina. And uh, we have another example there. I wasn't born in China. Wasn't is negative, right? And then on the left side, we have you, that is the subject, plus the verb to be, were, plus complement. You were born in Argentina. Usted nació en Argentina. Y en negative is you weren't born in China. Usted no nació en China. You weren't born in China. So uh, the verb born, we use a lot was or were, right? So that is the formula for affirmative and negative. And then we have questions. We have yes, no questions and WH questions. With the verb to be is different. Why? Because we don't use did. We don't use it. We use it only for other verbs. But with the verb to be, we just use the past tense of the verb to be. And uh, we have there the, the formula, it says verb to be plus subject plus complement. Verb to be, where? Subject, you. Complement, born in China. So were you born in China? Nació usted en China? Were you born in China? So that is the formula. And also we have another um, example there. Was Mary born in China? Mary nació en China. Was Mary born in China? So eh, ahí está la fórmula. No nos podemos perder, ¿verdad? Entonces, estas son fórmulas para el verbo to be en pasado. Okay. Just to make that, like, pay attention in that. And over here we have um, WH questions. The difference is that in... Uh, just no question, we don't use WH words, right? So, for example, just no question, was Peter born in China? And WH, where, right? Donde, where, were you born? It's kind of confusing when you hear it, but over there is the formula, right? So, it's WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. So, where, were you born? Donde nació usted? Donde nació? That is the meaning of where were you born. So that's it. That is the formulas that we have for the verb to be in the past tense. So do you have questions right now about that? Or because those are the, the formulas for the past tense, right? For all the verbs, affirmative, negative, and also uh, now we are studying the verb to be in the past tense, right? So do you have any question right now? No, teacher. Okay, that's the only grammar that we are going to study. Now we are going to practice. I just want to make sure that you have understood this, um, these sentences or these formulas, let's say, right? So I'm going to share with you um, a link and I will show you how to write I will show you how to write um, a sentence. I will ask you to write a sentence. For example, I want you to write a sentence with it. What did you eat for today, right? For example, for this um, a, a dinner, for example, or at lunch. So I'm going to show you. Uh, over there, you can see in the chat. If you go to the chat, you will see a link. Go to that link. And over here, I will show you right, right now. Over here, we have some sentences. So for you to write your sentence, you just need to click over here in the plus sign on the corner, on the left corner at the bottom. Click and you will see a pen, a pen icon. And then after that, 
you can write there. It says asunto, and you can write there. For example, what did you eat for today? I ate, uh, let's see, the scramble eggs, like for example, the scramble. What is a scramble eggs? ¿Qué es, qué es eso? Huevos revueltos. Huevos revueltos, exactly. I ate scramble eggs. So you, you click on publicar, click there, and I will be able to see there I ate scramble eggs. So I want you to write what you eat, what you ate for dinner right now. Remember it's here at the bottom, right? It's the plus sign and you can write there the sentence. Okay, there are, there are some people writing, so I'm going to wait. We are going to wait for it. Teacher, I don't understand. Who is? Let me see. What do you what what don't you understand? No, I don't understand the exercise. The exercise, okay. Uh, first, I will. I want you to tell me what you ate uh, on dinner. For example, ¿qué comió en la cena o en el desayuno o en el almuerzo? What you ate at lunch or at breakfast? Now, I want you to write it. Write it down. Where here? Quiero que lo escriba aquí. Está aquí. No sé si puede ver la pantalla. Si la pueden ver aquí en la esquina. En la esquina. Yes. Entonces, aquí hay un signo de plus y de más. Le da clic aquí al icono del lápiz. Y ahí usted va a escribir donde dice asunto, por ejemplo, qué es lo que comió. I ate scrambled eggs. So, I, I wrote it. I ate scrambled eggs. Yo, es, yo escribí, yo comí huevos revueltos. Entonces, eso es lo que yo escribí. Ahora quiero que usted escriba. Cuando ya tenga lo que escribió aquí, le da en publicar. Y yo voy a poder verlo. Teacher. Yes. Y, y, y con celular funciona eso también. <laughs> Actually, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it with cell phone. But it yes. was. It was a yes, I did it. Yes, you did it. My Iris. cell phone. Yes, in my cell phone. Yeah, Iris did it. Iris did it with in her cell phone. So I can see her some some sentences. So it seems that it works. Parece que sí funciona en celulares. It yes, says, because the sentence is, está ahí. What is your sentence, Iris? I ate pizza. Okay, I ate pizza. So she ate pizza. Very good. I ate pizza. I ate three cheese beans pupusa. Okay, pupusa with cheese and beans. Very good. I ate pasta at lunch. I ate Syria, Tatiana Larcón, for my breakfast. I ate a delicious sandwich with jam and cheese, and I drank orange juice. Very good, very delicious breakfast. I ate burritos al pastor. Mm, very good. Let me see. I ate, I ate a tamal and coffee for my dinner. Very good. Let's see. I ate pasta lunch. I ate, I eat pupusas. I ate, right? I ate, that is the past. Yo comí vegetales con queso. I ate vegetables with cheese. Very good. I ate fried beans with egg. Fried beans, frijoles fritos, ¿verdad? Very good. I ate cereal. I, I ate three cheese. Okay, very good. So, very good. Now, I want you to tell me something that you didn't do. I ate pasta in my lunch. Here, Maria Siguenza, here in, in the, you can write also in the chat, right? You can write also there, probably, but lunch is with you. L-U-N-C-H, right? That is lunch. Okay, now we can see here. I, now I, I ate pupusas, I ate soup. Soup, okay, soup without the, the E, sin la E al final, soup, right? I was sick since the Saturday, since Saturday. I'm sorry for you if you were sick. Now I want you to tell me to write una negative, una negativa. Quiero que escriban algo que no hicieron hoy, que querían hacer y que no hicieron hoy. 
For example, I didn't wash my clothes. No lavé la ropa. No pude hacer, I didn't do the laundry. I didn't watch TV. I didn't go to the movie theater. I didn't, I didn't go to the gym also, right? Entonces, algo que querían hacer o que tenían que hacer y no hicieron. Siempre siguiendo la fórmula. You need to follow the formula, right? I didn't do the homework. You have to do the homework, okay? I didn't work out today. I didn't work out. You didn't work out. Sorry for you. I I didn't speak with my mother. Probably tomorrow, right? You can send a text message. I didn't take a shower today. It's a joke. Okay. You need to take showers every day. Right now in Salvador, is, it's hot, right? I didn't go to the bank. Uh, but going to the bank, it, it's something that you have to do, right? It's, it's really, it takes time, right? I didn't run today due to the bad weather. Yeah. Sometimes uh, we like to run, right? I cannot run anymore. I didn't go to the park with my pet. Yes, it's a responsibility to take pets out, right? I didn't go to the cinema with my son. Yeah, probably on weekend. Okay, very good. Tatiana Larcón, I didn't watch a movie with my daughters. Yeah, probably on weekend, right? On Saturday. It says, I didn't go. Okay, I didn't go to shopping. It says, Maria Cecilia. I didn't go shopping, Maria Cecilia. You need to remove the two, sin el two. I didn't go shopping. Very good. I didn't go to the gym with my son. You go to the gym with your son? Very good. I didn't visit my friend. I, I did. I did visit my friend today. I didn't do the laundry. I didn't go to the gym. I did not buy my children's cookies for tomorrow. So tomorrow, children, they are not going to eat, right? Okay, very good. And I didn't go to the back. I didn't run today. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, so I can see. I can see here um, that you are able to write with the formulas. I didn't work on my garden. I didn't play soccer. Sorry for you. I didn't. I didn't go to work. Probably you were sick. I didn't go for a walk in the morning. Yeah, sometimes we need those activities, right? And we, we don't do it very often, but very good. Very good. Thank you. Now, the last, the last one, la última oración que van a escribir. Quiero que pongan una pregunta con el verbo to be. ¿Cómo se pone? Eh, ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? I didn't take my breakfast. You, breakfast is important, okay? Breakfast is important. No, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? Now, in, in English. ¿Cuándo cumples años? ¿O cuándo fue tu cumpleaños? En pasado, pónganlo en pasado. ¿Cuándo fue tu cumpleaños? For example, we have someone with birth, right? Today. Yes, mercy, mercy. Uh, her birthday was yesterday, right? When you was born? Now remember the formula. When? WH question then, verb to be. Where? You born. When were you born? Cuando naciste? When was your birthday? When was your birthday? When was your birthday? Very good. So I just wanted to make sure, or I just wanted to check if you were able to write the sentences in English using the formula, okay? So if we use the formula, everything will be okay. Everything will be good. When was your birthday? Very good. When was your birthday? When were you born? Let me see. When were your birthday? No. Cuando fue? When was your birthday? When was your birthday? Tatiana Alarcón, when was your birthday? Very good, Tatiana. And in the chat, when were you born? Very good. Thank you, Jaime. Very good. Okay, we are going to stop right now with this activity. We are going to continue with the other one because we're still missing like 10 minutes. So, vamos a, vamos a proceder con la siguiente actividad. Y la siguiente actividad, I can say that you can write in English. Very good. Congratulations. Now, I think that it's kind of, it's more difficult 
to speak, right? To speak because sometimes we get stuck with ideas. We get stuck with words. We don't know how to say this. We don't know how to say that. So we are going to practice that. Also pronunciation is kind of difficult, but even though you have an accent, it's okay if you can uh, communicate your ideas and your, your thoughts. That's the main goal right now. We are going to see a conversation of two people. Right now we are going to, to read it and we are going to uh, try to, to check the, the, the past tense, right? Over there. So I'm going to share with you right now. Let me see here. This is a conversation between two people. These two people's names are Shirley and Carlos, okay? It says, hello, my name is Shirley. What's your name? My name is Carlos. Nice to meet you. I am from San Juan, Puerto Rico. When were you born? I was born in Salvador. Were you born in Central America? No, I wasn't. I was born in Salvador de Bahia in Brazil. That's great. I wish I was born in Brazil. I love soccer. Okay, let's see. Noé Vázquez. Where is Shirley from? When, when was she born? Where was she born? Sorry. You're, you're on mute, Noé. I cannot hear you right now. No, no problem. Okay. Uh, my case, I was born in the city in the Apopa. Okay, but in the conversation, Shirley is is uh she's saying where she was born. Where was she born? Donde nació Shirley? En la conversación. Where was she born? Uh, she in born a, in El Salvador. In El Salvador, here in Central America, here. Was she yes. born in El Salvador? Yes. yes. Is that correct, Juan Carlos? Is that correct, Juan Carlos? Uh, teacher, I not listen the answer. And you didn't listen the answer? It's over. Uh, you're not able to see the conversation. Are you able to see the conversation? Just the conversation. I can see. Okay. But very the good. Answer, oh, of the last part. The last, the, the Noé, Noé's answer, uh, Noé was saying that Shirley was born here in El Salvador. Is that correct? No, it's not correct. Because it's not Shirley, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not correct because Shirley was born in Salvador, but the Salvador of Bahia in Brazil. Exactly. She was not born in El Salvador. Shirley no nació en El Salvador. She was born in Salvador de Bahia in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Salvador de Bahia is a city in Brazil, right? So uh, that's why she she says that she was born in there over there. Okay, very good. And uh, let me see here. Someone. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, question, yes. What is your question? Ok, eh, digamos en el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer, uh -huh. cuando eh, preguntamos lo del cumpleaños, utilizamos eh, When was your birthday? Y aquí, uh -huh. porque aunque le está haciendo una pregunta a la persona en sí, le pone Where were you born? Entonces ahí está ocupando Where no was, entonces ahí me confundo. Ok, But, por ejemplo, um... Before I was, we were writing about the birthday, right? Uh, when was your birthday? Cuando fue tu cumpleaños? In mm. this case, in the conversation is where were you born? Donde, right? Where? Yeah. Donde? Ajá, uh -huh. pero para yo tenía entendido que was se ocupaba con primera persona y where con tercera persona. Mm -hmm. Entonces ahí le está preguntando a primera persona. Entonces no entiendo por qué utiliza where. Okay, uh, you is are right. You are, mm -hmm. and you, you were, were right in the past. Yes. You were, okay. Oh. You are. You were. 
So it's a question, right? Where were you born? Okay. It's like if I ask you, where are you? Where are you? I'm my, in my house. But in the past, where were you? Donde estabas? I was in my house. Okay. So okay. it's the second person singular, and we use are, right? Are, you are, you were. It's mm -hmm. the same. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank great. you. No problem. So um, that is the conversation. Let me see. We have five more minutes, and we are going to give you a homework as always, right? So for you to speak in the next class. We have the same conversation with Shirley and Carlos. It's not the same conversation, let's say, because the previous conversation, this one, they are meeting each other, right? They are saying that they are from El Salvador. They are, I'm not from Salvador de Bahia in Brazil and Puerto Rico, right? They are meeting each other. It's the first time, but now they meet again after some time. It says um, it's a conversation. They they get together again, and now this conversation has some mistakes. So this conversation is supposed to be in the past. So we are going to check the mistakes. Vamos a ver los errores. Vamos a corregir la conversación. Okay. So Shirley says, "Hello, Carlos. I'm so glad to see you." And Carlos says, "I am also happy to see you." What you do this weekend? I go to the shopping center. I buy many shoes. It was great. Do you have fun? I bet you did. Of course I do. What do you do on the weekend? Well, I go to play football. I be very happy playing soccer. And guess what? We won. Entonces la vamos a corregir. Vamos a ir oración por oración. The first one, the first one says, hello, Carlos. I'm so glad to see you. Is that correct? Is okay in the conversation? No, teacher. Uh, Shirley say, hi, Carlos. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Very good. Exactly. It's okay. Very good. The second one, Carlos says, I'm also happy to see you. What you do this weekend? Is that correct? No. No. No, no right. What is the correct one? What did what you do, do this you weekend? Do this weekend? What did you do? Okay, remember the formula, right? The formula is really important. What? WH then auxiliary, right? Did. What did you do this weekend? Very good. Next one. It says, Shirley, I go to the shopping center. Is that correct? No. No, no. 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 I, went. I, went. I went. Center. I went. Exactly. I went. I went to the shopping center. It's no center. I, it's center. In a boat. In a I, boat. Many shoes. Yes, I, I went to the shopping center and then I bought many shoes, right? I bought the pass. Teacher. Yes. Eh, center está bien escrito o es center? It's the boat. Yeah, the, ah, boat. Both. Both yeah. is correct. One is American center, right? Center. And this one, I guess, is British center okay. that is okay, british exactly. we have some some uh similarities or but it's okay it's okay so one is british this one is british and center is okay. american yes okay. very good so uh, the next one is i bought many shoes that's that's okay you said that is in the past right i bought it was great the next one do you have fun is that correct have fun. No, no, did you have fun? Did you have fun? Okay, very good. Did you have fun? I bet you did. What does it mean? I bet you did. Apuesto que si. Apuesto que si. I guess you did. I'm sure you did. Apuesto que si. Very good. Next one. Of course, I do. Is that correct? No. 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 Of no. course, I did. Of course, I did. Exactly. Of course, I did. Then the question says, what do you do on the weekend? What did you do on, what the, did you weekend? Do on the weekend? Very good. What did you do on the weekend? And the next one, I, well, I go to play football. I went, I went, I went, I went, to, play I went to play football. I went to play football. Exactly. I went to play football. I'd be very happy playing soccer. 
I was very happy playing soccer. I was very happy playing soccer. Very good. And guess what? We won. And guess what? Yes. We won. And guess yes, what? Correct. That's correct, yes, right? That's and correct. guess what? That's correct. Very good. So you see the formula is really important for that because sometimes we can forget some words and that shouldn't be okay. We can understand. Yes, we can understand. But there are some mistakes, right? Very good. This is the correct conversation. We can see her. And what I want you to do um, as a homework is that we are going to practice tomorrow this conversation the same. It's, it's not going to be the same conversation, but what I want you to do is that we are going to work in, in couples. And for example, Mr. Edgardo will be Carlos, for example, and then uh, Tatiana will be Shirley, for example, and then um, Tatiana or Carla will ask uh, Mr. Edgardo, right? Hi, Edgardo. Um, what do you do this weekend? Entonces, Edgardo le va a tratar de decir qué hizo el fin de semana y así y vamos a trabajar en parejas. Vamos a, esta es la idea, pero cada quien se va a preguntar qué hizo el fin de semana y ustedes lo van a decir en inglés. You are going to say it in English what you did during the weekend or yesterday or today, right? So tomorrow we are going to practice this conversation, okay? Excellent. Okay, okay perfect. Do you have any okay. question? No. 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 Okay, very good. the same conversation or we will do another conversation? We are going to follow this structure, but you are going to use your information your name, your um, information, your activities. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. So if we don't have more questions, I am glad to see you here. Thank you for your effort. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Everyone. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. See you, bye.